welcome, or welcome back, to Four of Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. However, but what I do know, and what you now know from the thumbnail, the description, and the title, is that this is a collab. This is a multi-channel collab. Where a group of us have got together and wanted to have a little bit of fun by doing a look inspired by musicians that we love and have loved over the years. You are going to see so many different musicians created uh, that next time you have a party to go to and it's fancy dress and you want some ideas, sweetie, you're going to have a list to be able to copy from. Now, uh, my particular look is inspired by a British pop, rock, punk type artist from the 80s. She was uh, a very strong voice for women in that period. She had a an individual, I won't say unique because obviously it was very similar to Cindy Lauper. I'm not quite sure which one of them came first. But she had a very individual look and she produced some epic music. So, if you want to find out exactly who I am, or find out if your guess about who I am is right, then sweetheart, you are in precisely the right place. Here it comes. Hey, welcome back from the intro. Right, hopefully in the intro I'm looking very different. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to explain in the intro, uh, so I'll give you a quick rundown about what happened now. Uh, a few days ago, one of my bitches of Eastwick, or one of my YouTube uh, mistresses, because obviously Nikki Raven is my YouTube wifey, uh, one of my YouTube mistresses, Anya, added me to a group called Creative Collab. Um, and they are doing a musician-inspired makeup collab. Now, I've got a list of them in front of me here. I've also got a playlist that will have all of our films in. And so that I don't mispronounce someone's name or use their Instagram name instead of their YouTube name, I'm going to list everybody's account in my description box, everybody involved in this collab. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's a little bit of a cop out on my half, my, my, my behalf, I will admit, but I don't want to offend somebody by mispronouncing the name. And of course, there is always a chance uh, that more people could be added to the collab because obviously I'm, I'm filming this about a week or so before the collab's due to go live. Um, because pain, etc. When I have a reasonable day, I film on those days and try and get as much filming done as I can on those days. So, I'm not going to give you the list of people in it in case other people are added and then I would feel bad that I had not referenced them. Now, the musician that I am going to be inspired by is uh, a woman from the 1980s who, as a kid, I used to love her music and I used to love her makeup and wanted to copy her makeup myself, uh, which I did on one occasion and my mum took one look at me and just went, let's go and visit your Auntie Barbara. So I'm like, oh, I must be looking really good, she wants to show me off to Auntie Barbara. And I walked in and Auntie Barbara said, you look like a street walker, go and wash your face. And I'm like, oh. So I'm going to indulge myself. Here's a picture of Toya in her prime. She's kind of the British version of Cindy Lauper. I'm not sure who came first, her or Cindy, but 
it is a similar kind of look um, so I'm going to do my best to do an homage to the wildness of Toya Wilcox now um, I've got my base done already because obviously a lot of that colour is here and, and here so yeah if there's fallout I'll make it part of the design now the palette that I'm using is also because of Anya because she mentioned she'd filmed with this palette this Profusion palette and that it was as good as a certain high-end uh, makeup line I'm not going to mention it in case our film isn't live yet but she did a duel off between this and a high-end makeup line and to be honest when she showed us the photo I preferred the look that this had done so I'm going to give this a go now in America this cost her five bucks in the UK this cost me seven quid going on exchange rates five bucks is under four quid over here it's three pound ninety something so effectively we pay 77 percent more in the UK for the same product deep joy but this is the Pro Fusion Spectrum 10 shade Pro Pigment palette I'm expecting to have staining all over my face by the time I'm done with this because pressed pigments tend to stain so now normally I say that my channel is a teaching channel and I talk you through step by step by step today's going to be a little bit different because I'm not expecting any of you to want to recreate this look um, mine still will probably be one of the longer films because due to my pain levels and my fibro I can't blend as quick as most people and I chat a lot so if I'm going too slowly for you there is a speed widget please use it right let's get you zoomed in a bit so you can at least see what I'm doing I'm not going to bring you in as far because obviously you need to be able to see this bit uh, in terms of what I've got on my base I've got the Flower Beauty Light Illusion foundation in shade porcelain which is their lightest it's still not light enough for me so I have to mix it with this LA Girl Pro Coverage white mixer uh, I've set it with Coty Airspun uh, translucent extra coverage I went over it with this Wet n Wild bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana which behaves exactly the same way as the Hourglass Ambient Lighting and I have done my brows with a brow pencil quite heavily and then because I was looking very powdery uh, sprayed my face with this Revolution Caffeine Energizing Essence Spray with Citrus Extract, extract. Fan is on because it's blisteringly hot in my kitchen so uh, this I think this might actually be a little bit too big for the bit I'm going to do first so let's grab a different this is one of the BH smoke and mirrors um, makeup brush set I got them over Christmas last year because Beauty Bay had them on special offer and this is number three and I'm going to go into Marigold which is this bright yellow here to start the forehead and I'm just gonna tap this on initially because obviously I don't know how much fallout it's gonna oh actually it's not too bad okay I can start sweeping because obviously um, I've set my base with the Coty Airspun and the um, the Wet n Wild bronzer, which you know wouldn't. I'm I'm super pale. I'm like an NC no, not an NC, an NW thirteen in Mac. So not the lightest, because obviously they do go down to an NC ten, um, which I believe is what uh, John McLean is. 
but I'm certainly very light and there's no way that would ever ever be a bronzer for me but it is a great finishing powder um, you know if you've gone over with too much powder and you're, you're thinking oh I'm looking a little bit cakey or your bronzer or your blush have gone a little bit patchy that's the perfect time to use one of those finishing powders or like a you know like the hourglass finishing powder or that particular hashtag bronzer um, because that will just sort of it gives you a more sort of satin look to your skin rather than a flat matte you can see I've, and I've not got any highlight on and yes that is an illuminating foundation but it was completely matte when I put the Coty Air Spell on it. Let's just bring this bit down the nose just a little bit here. This is so much fun. I love playing with colour. Right now I'm going to go into Beat which is the orange right next to it here. I'm kind of going to go from sort of top of the eyebrow to temple kind of thing. Just to deepen up that side. Seriously, this is so much fun. When Anya added me, I was like, oh, ho, 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 this is going to be fun. I was either going to do um, Boy George or someone like Toya because, let's face it, when do you get the chance to slather your face like this unless you're being Toya, David Bowie, Boy George? This is fun. Yep, I like that. Okay. Next brush. I'm going to go in with. Uh, I think I might try this. This is a Freedom sort of flat topped kabuki brush, but it's quite loosely packed. So I might try this for the, the blush, see how that goes. I'm going to go into Rave, which is this gorgeous hot pink just here. And I'm just going to. Ooh, yeah. I'm just going to slather it right the way across the top of my cheekbone and continue it up to meet the orangey yellow that I've got going on up there. Oh, this is so much fun. I'm so glad Anya invited me into the group. I love doing sort of daft stuff like this. And like I said, it means I get to recreate the makeup look that I wanted to do in the 80s, but didn't really get the chance to. Although I was very good at rocking a bit of blue eyeshadow back in the 80s, I'll tell you. Blue eyeshadow and pale whitey pink sort of lipstick. And that was, yeah, that was me going. Right, I'm just going to close that for a minute. Clean this brush off a wee bit. I've got a clean washcloth. I'm just wash. I'm just wiping it off on because over here I've got a Becca highlight I've not tried. This is the one of their light chaser highlights, and this is Rose Quartz Flashes Seashell which I bought when, I think Beauty Bad got it um, down to, I think it was like half price or it was, it got quite a lot of money off it, put it that way. Okay, isn't that pretty? I wonder if I, if I do that, can you see the, the kind of shift? Sometimes it shows up better in the mirror. I don't know. I'm going to use this go over the pink 
just to give it a bit of shine. Oh, I say a bit of shine. Hello. Regular viewers of mine know that I like a little bit of highlight. However, most of my looks, although colourful, are a lot more wearable than this. Although I do remember once going for a fancy dress party where I'd, I'd done my face up uh, like a zombie with like, you know, sort of rotting flesh hanging off my cheek. Uh, and then realised I had to stop at Tesco's and uh, pick up some drink because it was one of those sort of bring your own drinks party and I suddenly realised I'd not actually gone and got the beers so uh, yeah that was that was interesting I got some very strange looks walking around just goes that day I'm sure you can imagine I might use that in whatever makeup look I decide to do once I'm finished and I've taken this back off I'm just going to use it to shine up my nose as well. Oh, that's actually quite nice. Now, what colour should I do on my eyes? I think... Well, there's got to be some blue on there, hasn't it? Because it's the 80s. And blue eyeshadow was just the thing to do in the 80s. So I've got two lovely blues in here. I've got uh, this one, which is Bermuda and this one which is nautical. So I'm going to start off with Bermuda. Ooh, a lot of kick up. I'm expecting fallout. Let's zoom you in a little bit more just so you can see what I'm doing on my eyes. There we go. And I'm going to run this from lash line I can't see what I'm doing because I'm absolutely blind in the other eye. There we go. I'm going to run this from lash line all the way up to the brow. Because it's the 80s and uh, we kind of didn't really leave a lot of skin without some kind of colour on it. Again, currently blind. Okay. I can see why Anya liked this palette. These colours are going on really nicely. Because blues, reds and purples are the most difficult colours to create, particularly light blues. And this is going on really well. So I'm super glad she told me about this uh, this palette that she tried. I'm also super happy that Amazon had it on Prime for next day delivery. Okay. Now I'm going to go into Nautical, which is the other blue. I'm going to see if we can add a bit of depth in. And perhaps bring it up to the outer edge there. I mean, the best thing about doing 80s makeup, especially if you're doing kind of editorial or architectural or you know, pop as in they'd wear it for a photo shoot or to go on top of the pop's looks. You can't really put too much on. Which is great, you know, if you sort of you you really can't go over the top with it. Because you know, someone somewhere in the 80s will have had their makeup like it. I have to stretch this eye because where it got pulled around when I was a kid, for those who 
don't normally watch me and don't already know this, um, I'm actually blind in this eye, but um, I didn't go blind in it until my early teens. Prior to then I had a bit of sight in it and uh, I spent an awful lot of time at the ophthalmic hospital with them trying to work out why I wasn't seeing with it properly and so it got pulled around an awful lot and because of that I've got very very deep creasing there so I do actually have to sort of stretch my eyelid skin out to make sure I don't get any skipped bits which is really annoying and, you know please don't pull your eyes around like that unless you absolutely have to <laughs> this is so much fun oh I've got to take all this off again afterwards Please pray with me that it's not going to stain. Because so I've got to do a pastel look in a minute. <coughs> That's going to be interesting. Right, and then I'm going to go into purple, which is actually spelt rain, as in a sovereign would rain, but it just makes you want to sing purple rain, purple rain. Do you know, I think Toya actually did do a cover of purple rain at one point. I'm just going to run this just on that outer edge there just to deepen it up a little bit. And bring it onto the corner of the, the mobile lid. And then maybe run it underneath as well. Because it's the 80s and we can do what we like. It was acceptable in the 80s. It pretty much was. I mean, you know, there's all this hoo ha about, oh, men wearing makeup, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, well, you clearly weren't around in the 80s then because men wore as much, if not more, makeup than women did back then. And nobody thought two hoots on it. Seem to have gone backwards in that respect. Oh, this is so much fun. I'm sorry I'm not chatting very much, I'm just having a lot of fun. I'm normally much more chatty than this. How's your day been? Is it a good one? How many of these films have you watched so far? How many out of the list? Which number am I? How many more have you got left to watch? And which artists have you seen so far? Because we could choose either an artist or be inspired by a song. So I was really tempted at one point to do Cher's Dark Lady. But then I thought, mm, Dark Lady or Toya and Have Fun With Colour. And, well, you can see which choice one. I just love playing with colour. I don't get the chance to do that. I, do, I really wish this kind of 80s avant-garde look would come back in again. Just so that, you know, every so often I could be as wafty as I like. Again, just going to deepen up. Just that little bit there. Hmm. Can you tell I'm having fun? <laughs> Is it obvious that I'm enjoying myself here? Right, I think I'm happy with that look. So now it's time to add on some fun bits. Because I've got some of these stamp liners, and although at the moment, because of my fibro being so awful, I can't really, oh pardon me, hiccups, I can't really wear um, eyeliner at the moment because my eyes just run too much. That combined with the hay fever and it's just, yeah, it's just not happening folks. But I'm going to add... A few musical notes 
hair and maybe a few here Zoom you back out a little bit. Where else do I want to put some musical notes? Maybe down here. And one right on the end of my nose. Make sure I get the right way up. Here. Also have no, that's flowers. That's the moon. What's that one? Is this one stars? Yeah, is this one stars? So I'm gonna pop some stars in between. If you haven't got these, you can just. Um, stick gems on uh, or if you're feeling very adventurous perhaps draw them freehand I like that this is just so much fun Right, lipstick time. And I'm going to do, just like in the picture of Toya, two different colour lipsticks. So I've got this Colourpop Lippy Stick in shade Tickler, which I'm going to use for my bottom. I'll zoom you out a little bit more, you can see what I'm doing, can't you? There we go. I'm going to use that for my bottom lip. Such a gorgeous hot pink, this one. I do tend to wear it with um, a gloss or a balm over the top though, because it can be a little drying. And then I'm going to go into my little Fenty Beauty one called Saucy, S A W hyphen letter C. And do the top lip. Crazy. Right, I'm going to pause you while I bung a bit of mascara on and do something with my hair. And I will be back with the finished look. So I'll see you right now. Well, I didn't tell you what I was doing with my hair, did I? Thankfully, this wig has got dark roots, so I can hold it a little bit further off my forehead so you can still see the design here, without it being too much of a problem of my own hairline showing. So there we go. I will again stick the picture of Toya up there. What do you think? Have I done her proud? I want to turn this world inside. It's one of her songs. <laughs> uh, if I think on, I'll stick a, a link in the description box, along with everybody's channel and along with the playlist, I'll stick a link in of uh, a couple of her songs in case you've never heard of her before, because uh, 
you probably haven't. But here we go. This is my musician inspired makeup look. What do you think? I mean, clearly, you wouldn't necessarily wear this to pop to the shops, and you could if you wanted to, I suppose. But if you've got a fancy dress thing to go to, you saw that was so quick and so easy to do. And Anya, you are so right, this palette is amazing. So, I really, really hope you enjoyed this. If you are new to my channel and you found me through one of the other beautiful, beautiful ladies, uh, and, well, I'll say ladies and gentlemen in case we have any gentlemen joining in as well, but at the moment, as far as I'm aware, it's just ladies doing it, I think. Uh, if you have found me through one of their channels, hi, hello, uh, I hope you enjoyed it here, I hope you'd like to watch a couple of my other films and um, maybe think about subscribing. If you are one of my beautiful 4F babies, grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up sweetheart, because you've got a, an absolutely awesome playlist to watch through. You've got so many other looks and so many other musicians being represented with makeup. And who knows, it might give you, you know, a few ideas for the next time you have a fancy dress party to go to. Maybe you'd like to recreate one of the looks that you see in this collaboration, this, this huge collaboration. Uh, amongst people who enjoy makeup and want to have fun with it as well as just doing everyday looks. Alright, now all that remains for me to say, as ever, is your stay fabulous and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.